Joshua chapter 11. And it came to pass, when Jabin king of Hazor had heard those things, that he sent to Jobab king of Maiden, and to the king of Shimron, and to the king of Akshaph, and to the kings that were on the north of the mountains, and of the plain south of Chinneroth, and in the valley, and in the borders of Dor on the west. And to the Canaanite on the east and on the west, and to the Amorite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Jebusite in the mountains, and to the Hivite under Hermon in the land of Mizpah. And they went out, they and all their hosts with them, much people, even as the sand that is upon the sea shore in multitude, with horses and chariots very many. And when all these kings were met together, they came and pitched together at the waters of Miram, to fight against Israel. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Be not afraid because of them, for tomorrow about this time will I deliver them up all slain before Israel, thou shalt hoe their horses, and burn their chariots with fire. So Joshua came, and all the people of war with him, against them by the waters of Miram suddenly, and they fell upon them. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of Israel, who smote them, and chased them unto great Zidon, and unto Misrephothmaim, and unto the valley of Mizpah eastward, and they smote them, until they left them none remaining. And Joshua did unto them as the Lord bade him, he hoed their horses, and burnt their chariots with fire. And Joshua at that time turned back, and took Hazor, and smote the king thereof with a sword, for Hazor before time was the head of all those kingdoms. And they smote all the souls that were therein with the edge of the sword, utterly destroying them, there was not any left to breathe, and he burnt Hazor with fire. And all the cities of those kings, and all the kings of them, did Joshua take, and smote them with the edge of the sword, and he utterly destroyed them, as Moses the servant of the Lord commanded. But as for the cities that stood still in their strength, Israel burned none of them, save Hazor only, that did Joshua burn, and all the spoil of these cities, and the cattle, the children of Israel took for a prey unto themselves, but every man they smote with the edge of the sword, until they had destroyed them, neither left they any to breathe. As the Lord commanded Moses' servant, so did Moses command Joshua, and so did Joshua, he left nothing undone of all that the Lord commanded Moses. So Joshua took all that land, the hills, and all the south country, and all the land of Goshen, and the valley, and the plain, and the mountain of Israel, and the valley of the same. Even from the Mount Halak, that goeth up to Seir, even unto Balgad in the valley of Lebanon under Mount Hermon, and all their kings he took, and smote them, and slew them. Joshua made war a long time with all those kings. There was not a city that made peace with the children of Israel, save the Hivites the inhabitants of Gibeon, all other they took in battle. For it was of the Lord to harden their hearts, that they should come against Israel in battle, that he might destroy them utterly, and that they might have no favor, but that he might destroy them, as the Lord commanded Moses. And at that time came Joshua, and cut off the Anakims from the mountains, from Hebron, from Debir, from Anab, and from all the mountains of Judah, and from all the mountains of Israel, Joshua destroyed them utterly with their cities. There was none of the Anakims left in the land of the children of Israel, only in Gaza, in Gath, and in Ashdod there remained. So Joshua took the whole land, according to all that the Lord said unto Moses, and Joshua gave it for an inheritance unto Israel according to their divisions by their tribes. And the land rested from war. Joshua chapter 12. Now these are the kings of the land, which the children of Israel smote, and possessed their land on the other side Jordan toward the rising of the sun, from the river Arnon unto Mount Hermon, and all the plain on the east. Sihon king of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon, and ruled from Aroer, which is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and from the middle of the river, and from half Gilead, even unto the river Jabbok, which is the border of the children of Ammon. And from the plain to the sea of Chinneroth on the east, and unto the sea of the plain, even the salt sea on the east, the way to Beth Yishimot, and from the south, under Ashdoth Pisgah. And the coast of Og king of Bashan, which was of the remnant of the giants, that dwelt at Ashtaroth and at Adre. And reigned in Mount Hermon, and in Salkah, and in all Bashan, unto the border of the Geshurites and the Machathites, and half Gilead, the border of Sihon king of Heshbon. Them did Moses the servant of the Lord and the children of Israel smite, and Moses the servant of the Lord gave it for a possession unto the Reubenites, and the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. And these are the kings of the country which Joshua and the children of Israel smote on this side Jordan on the west, from Balgad in the valley of Lebanon even unto the Mount Halak, that goeth up to Seir, which Joshua gave unto the tribes of Israel for a possession according to their divisions.
in the mountains, and in the valleys, and in the plains, and in the springs, and in the wilderness, and in the south country, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. The king of Jericho, 1, the king of Ai, which is beside Bethel, 1. The king of Jerusalem, 1, the king of Hebron, 1. The king of Jarmuth, 1, the king of Lachish, 1. The king of Eglon, 1, the king of Gezer, 1. The king of Debir, 1, the king of Geder, 1. The king of Horma, 1, the king of Arad, 1. The king of Libna, 1, the king of Adullam, 1. The king of Makeda, 1, the king of Bethel, 1, the king of Tapua, 1, the king of Hefer, 1, the king of Aphek, 1, the king of Lasharon, 1, the king of Madon, 1, the king of Hazer, 1, the king of Shimmermaron, 1, the king of Akshof, 1, the king of Tanakh, 1, the king of Megiddo, 1, the king of Kadesh, 1, the king of Jokneum of Carmel, 1, the king of Dor in the coast of Dor, 1, the king of the nations of Gilgal, 1, the king of Terza, 1, all the kings 30 and 1, Luke chapter 17 verses 11 through 37. And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off, and they lifted up their voices, and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass, that, as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him, thanks, and he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation neither shall they say, Lo here! or, Lo there! For, behold, the kingdom of God is within you. And he said unto the disciples, The days will come, when ye shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall not see it. And they shall say to you, See here, or, See there, go not after them, nor follow them. For as the lightning, that lighteneth out of the one part under heaven, shineth unto the other part under heaven so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. But first must he suffer many things, and be rejected of this generation. And as it was in the days of Noe, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage, until the day that Noe entered into the ark, and the flood came, and destroyed them all. Likewise also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they builded but the same day that Lot went out of Sodom it rained fire and brimstone from heaven, and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day, he which shall be upon the housetop, and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away, and he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. I tell you, in that night there shall be two men in one bed, the one shall be taken, and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Two men shall be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. Psalms chapter 84. How amiable are thy tabernacles, O Lord of hosts! My soul longeth, yea, even fainteth for the courts of the Lord, my heart and my flesh crieth out for the living God. Yea, the sparrow hath found an house, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may lay her young, even thine altars, O Lord of hosts, my King, and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in thy house, they will be still praising thee. Selah. Blessed is the man whose strength is in thee, in whose heart are the ways of them who passing through the valley of Baca make it a well, the rain also filleth the pools. They go from strength to strength, every one of them in Zion appeareth before God. O Lord God of hosts, 
Hear my prayer, give ear, O God of Jacob. Selah. Behold, O God our shield, and look upon the face of thine anointed. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God, than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield, the Lord will give grace and glory, no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusteth in thee. Proverbs chapter 13 verses 5 through 6. A righteous man hateth lying, but a wicked man is loathsome, and cometh to shame. Righteousness keepeth him that is upright in the way, but wickedness overthroweth the sinner.